So what are we supposed to be doing? Some witty back and forth banter? Okay. But why? Tradition? I'm not a traditionalist. Me either. Well then it's time for another edition of Your, Your Nightly Night. News. edition of the Nightly News with stories on football and girls basketball. I'm Amaya and I'm Delilah. We've been back for a while but this is back to school second semester edition. As I say new year new me and in this case new decade. So we got together with some students and staff from Fieldcrest to check up what their plans are for the second semester. I'm here with Mallory who's a junior here at Fieldcrest. So Mallory how was your Christmas break? It was good. Spent a lot of time with the family. Did you set any goals for yourself this second semester? I'm going to try not to procrastinate as much this year. What are you looking forward to most for this semester? I'm looking forward to our dance competitions that are coming up and then for school to be over and to go right into summer break. I'm here with Jackson McKay, a fellow junior at Fieldcrest High School. What did you do over your winter break? Um, played a lot of basketball. We had the State Farm Holiday Classic and just basketball. How did the State Farm Classic go this year? Oh, uh, we did pretty good. Uh, we didn't get first like we wanted to get, but uh, we did. We got fourth and played decent as a team, and we just got to keep improving every week. What New Year's resolutions have you made for this year? Um, I would just say be the best teammate I could be for the basketball team, and just stop drinking soda. Amen to that, brother. I'm here with student teacher Miss Delion from ISU. She's currently teaching for Mrs. Cope. So, how are you liking Fieldcrest so far? I like it a lot. I really enjoy all of my classes. I love my juniors. And what are you planning on doing this semester? Well, I have to pass um, a TPA, so like the big teacher exam, so I'm going to be focusing a lot on that. And what are you planning on doing after you leave Fieldcrest? You know, hopefully I get a job. Mm -hmm. That would be fun and teach for the rest of my life. <laughs> Do you have any places that you'd love to go? Um, I'm kind of looking in the suburbs right now, so like St. Charles, Geneva, South Elgin area. Awesome. Thank you. Well, that's what some folks around here are going to be up to. But the real question now is, what are you going to be up to, Logue? Well, if World War III doesn't happen, I'm probably going to be in my backyard with a lawn chair, my dog, and a kiddie pool enjoying life. Well, there you have it. For the Nightly News, I'm Peyton. And I'm Logan. Note for next year, run this sooner. Girls basketball is 26-4 and four in regular season and our first time conference champs. Here's a report. Hi, I'm Amaya, and today Chris is going to be interviewing players from the girls basketball team. Hi, I'm with girls basketball player Alex. So Alex, what position do you play? I am point guard. What do you like about basketball? Um, I really like the girls on the team. It's a really good environment and we always have a lot of fun. What has been your favorite part about basketball these past four years? Um, probably the regional championship last year, my junior year. It was a lot of fun and we made history. Thank you. And now I'm here with Ashlyn, freshman basketball player. So Ashlyn, how is your transition from junior high basketball to high school basketball? It's a lot more faster, but it's a lot more enjoyable. What have you done to prepare yourself for this season? Um, we practiced over the summer and got in the weight room a little bit. <laughs> so how are you getting along with the new coaches? They're really supportive. Thank you. Thank you for watching from the Nightly News. I'm Amaya. Have a great day. Good luck at regional play on Wednesday at Pontiac. Speaking of conference champs, let's take a look back at football. Hi, I'm Reese with the Nightly News. Let's go take a look at the 2019 football season. So what's different about this team compared to others in the past? Uh, I think this team is more close-knit than maybe some that we've had in the past. I think our senior class is very close on and off the field, and that's kind of trickled down to the rest of the guys. So. Um, I think that togetherness has really benefited us in the field and off as well. You know, and I'd say the same thing. Um, it's not as much what's different, but, uh, you know, as a coach, you have more of an appreciation for their close-knitness together. 
um, just their uh, their willingness to work together, uh, be unselfish. Um, I think that says a lot about these guys. You know, they're good kids both on and off the field. Um, they're a group that wants to work hard all year. They want to learn. Um, so that's been a great help as a coach and something that we definitely appreciate for this season. From a defensive perspective, what's been the highlight of the season? Well, I mean, there's been a lot. Um, I mean, I think that defense has been, you know, something that we've keyed in on a lot for this season. Uh, but what I like about them so much is the group as a whole, um, you know, from our special teams to our defense to our guys that are on the scout team offense, you know, all those guys have a very important role in what we do for our defense. Um, but as far as uh, things that uh, are out in my mind is definitely when we beat, get, beat Gibson at home and uh, the win against Eureka were two moments uh, that I thought our defense played well in and uh, that helped us a lot. And those were two games that are in my mind a lot. So what were your thoughts coming into this season? Um, we really just wanted to take it one game at a time. It felt like last year we underperformed uh, win-loss wise, ending 5-5, five and five, and um, felt like we had a lot of talent and should have been a lot better than what we were. And we felt like we got too caught up in uh, trying to make a big playoff run and uh, trying to win the conference, and we weren't taking care of the day-to-day -day things that we needed to do to get better. So I think we've done a really good job of that this year, of really just um, staying in the moment and uh, getting better every single day and uh, focusing on one game. So, Matt, what were your thoughts about the playoffs? Well, um, I thought we played pretty well. Well, we made a good run, but unfortunately we fell short in the last game. Um, what's your favorite part about being on the team? Uh... This year we had a really good bond, and it was really awesome to be a part of. Do you miss your mullet? Indeed. Let's go check out some of the wacky hairstyles. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Matt. I might look like a cat, but I know how to bat. My friend Jackson, he is fat. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Jax. You know what I mean. I'm sorry. I love you. Congratulations to the 2019 football team. You guys did a wonderful job this year or this past year. I wish the best of luck to you next year. Congrats on an amazing season. So now it's time for the traditional That's Our Show. We'll see you soon with another edition of Your, Your Nightly, Nightly News. News.